Hi everyone that's interested in this sort of thing. I'm back making another video about my Chris Reeve knives. Uh, I just made one on Saturday, the 23rd of November, 2019, about uh, my tie locks and a couple of differences in the manufacturing of the knife blades. And I thought, oh, I'll have a, at least most of the week before my new knife arrives. Uh, but here we are, Monday the 25th, and it has arrived, and there's no way I am waiting till the end of the week to open this. Um, and I wanna open it because I don't think I've ever seen uh, an unboxing of a Chris Reeve knife direct from the factory, and um, that's where this came from. When I open this box, there will be Idaho air coming out. Um, so, uh, and the other fact is that I've waited nine months and 10 days for this. Um, so yeah, I'm not waiting anymore. Um, but I will apologize about the lighting um, because I like to wait for a day where it's uh, sunny out so I get good natural light in here, but um, uh, it's supposed to rain uh, a little bit later and it's slowly clouding over so if it gets a little bit darker i apologize about the lighting i don't own uh, an expensive lighting kit uh, you can see where my money is going come on um so uh let me uh tell you the whole story here um so i bought my first chris reeve knife in uh 2016 um and it was this small 21, Sabenza 21 with Coca Bowl inlays. Um, I'm a huge fan of Breaking Bad. I'm a baddict uh, and uh, Better Call Saul. And uh, if you know uh, about those TV series, you'll know why I picked Coca Bolo. Um, and I really like this knife. Uh, it took me a while to learn how to use the integral lock without killing my thumb and use the uh, thumb stud without killing my thumb. And it took a while for it to break in, but now it's super smooth. Um, but it was also a very expensive purchase. And so I don't carry it everywhere. Um, at first, I only carried it to very special events like regimental dinners. Um, and as the years have passed and sort of the financial outlay has grown sort of faded from memory. Uh, I've taken it more places, but it is definitely not something I carry in my pocket every day. Uh, it's still a bit of a gentleman's folder for me. Um, and a few months after I got this one, uh, I decided I'd like to get a full-size Chris Reeve knife. Um, and I was about to get a, a large uh, Sabenza 21 when I heard that the Sabenza 25 was about to be discontinued. So um, I thought, well, it's probably my last chance to get a new one, so uh, I might as well do that. And uh, so I ordered again with inlays, this time my Carta, just because um, I like the way that it sort of makes the blade, or sorry, makes the handle a little bit thicker in the hand and that your fingertips can sit uh, in between the two inlays. It has a little bit of grip there. Um, and well, I mean, I, I had no place to try uh, these knives before I ordered them anyway, but I went with what I knew because uh, I, I never tried one with just the flat handles. Um, and this one, again, really happy with it, but again, careful with it. And I don't know why, because I'm never going to sell it. Um, but uh, I, I guess because it's a discontinued knife, and again, it was expensive, um, uh, I use it around the home. Uh, I don't carry it out uh, almost ever. Um, and... Um, uh, but perfectly happy with it. And um, so that was fine. And then I have another cheaper pocket knife that I carry every day. And uh, that was fine for the last three years. And then I just started thinking, you know what? I want a Chris Reeve knife that I carry every day in my pocket um, for probably uh, as my go-to knife for the rest of my life. So what do I want that to be? And I, I went on online forums, I went on Facebook groups, I went on YouTube videos, and I thought a long time about it, and I, I decided exactly what I want, and I went to the Chris Reeve and I ordered it from them. Because these two, these two came from a dealer in Canada. Uh, they came brand new, but um, they came sort of from in stock at the shop. Um, and I wanted one that was basically made for me uh, to my specifications. And it's nothing too out, outlandish, but it is 
what I want. Um, so I ordered that February 15th. Great. That's going to be my Chris Reeve knife for the year. And fast forward till end of May, beginning of June, and the word comes out that the Sebenza 21 is going to be discontinued and a new Sebenza 31 is going to replace it. And um, the curiosity in my mind sort of started to, to raise and I thought, well, huh, I think uh, even though I'm purchasing this one, uh, if I order a 31, it's going to probably be a good nine or 10 months before they're, they're ready. So why not? And, uh, then you'll have the new 31 when it comes out. And so I ordered a 31 and we were talking back and forth about it on different Facebook groups and knife forums. And, um, <laughs> Steve from Thunderbird Gear in Canada said, well, why are you ordering them straight from Chris Reeve? And I said, well, um, I think it's something I want to do. I want to go through the experience of ordering straight from them, uh, being able to pick and choose what I want and, and um, have it sent to me. And I think even waiting for it is a bit of the experience, like the anticipation, because it does take months. I mean, a plain handled Sabenza 21 is a four month wait. And if you put inlays into it, it's six months. So, you know, you have to be patient, um, but it kind of adds to the experience. Um, as opposed to ordering it like these two, where I got them from a knife dealer in Canada and they arrived within a week. So, um, but Steve said, well, look, if you order from, from me, I, or I get them, uh, from Chris Reeve, you can specify what you want. Um, he's basically one of their, uh, primary dealers in Canada. So I thought about it and I said, well, I think I want a big brother for the one I ordered in February. So I have also placed an order with Steve and the big brother to this knife will be coming from him probably in the next little while, uh, before the 21s, uh, production on Sabenza 21s runs out. Um, so more about that one when it arrives. Um, so there I was with, uh, two, uh, three knives on order and, uh, waiting away. And then all of a sudden the 21, or sorry, the tie lock, uh, became available and I, it was a knife I never thought I would get. And, uh, I ordered this one and I thought this one would also be a gentleman's knife, uh, something that I carry only in my pocket for special occasions, uh, but once I got it, I liked it so much. It's been in my pocket almost every day since, uh, it arrived and I know it's going to get all dinged, uh, up. Um, and so I decided to order a second one, which I haven't even put away since I filmed the video on Saturday. Um, uh, this one in the box though is my piece of art museum piece. The probably the only Chris Reeve I own that will never be used. Um, so enough talking about, um, the history. Let's see. So what was the knife I ordered, um, to keep in my pocket every day? And I don't know what's going to happen to this guy because it's been in my pocket every day pretty much since I got it. So I'll have to let you know what, what balance I figure out, but I have a feeling not that I don't like you, uh, Tylock, cause I love you, but, uh, I think whatever's in here is going to get carried, um, for a little while. Uh, um, just because I've been waiting for it for so long. So let me, let me open this up and, uh, uh, get the box out of the way. And, uh, then I can start talking about what's inside here. So, okay. I'm sorry if this is getting outside the view of the, the camera, but I can only fit so much on the table. Um, so this is interesting because, uh, I ordered this in February, uh, February 15th. I got the email on uh, November, uh, uh, what was it? I guess the 21st last Wednesday in the evening, I got home with the message that said, uh, Hey, your knife's ready. I called them Thursday morning, uh, to take care of the payment and confirm the shipping. And, uh, Ooh, Idaho. Uh, all right. And just packing paper. Okay, let me get that out of the way, but not where it's going to cast shadows. Uh, so here we are. Um, yeah, all right, let me just toss that out of the way. So, um, yeah, and they shipped it on Thursday uh, from the United States. It, I knew it would have to go through customs here in Canada. So um, 
you know, I wasn't expecting it until this Thursday, at least, uh, once it went through customs and all that stuff. And the last time I checked the shipping was Saturday, and it was it went from Boise to San Francisco, which is the uh, International Distribution Center. And um, today, Monday morning, I had a medical appointment, and I was... Uh, you know, just leaving the appointment. And I thought, oh, when I get home, I'm going to check the shipping status of my, my knife. And just as I was getting in the elevator at the medical building or my medical appointment, uh, my phone rings and it was the, I, I knew it was the, uh, mailman here, postman here at home because, uh, it, if the ring was from my lobby and that's the only person that would call me on Monday morning at 10 AM. So, um, I like whipped home. It was a 15 minute drive and I got here just before he left. Otherwise I would have had to wait till at least tomorrow or Wednesday to go pick up this package at a package distribution center or pickup point. Um, so, uh, wow. I was so impressed. I was like, wow, I, I wasn't expecting this to get here in just three business days and not even really two since they, sh they shipped it. Um, but here it is. Uh, so I'm going to open this up. But before I do, I'm just going to say this is my uh, choice for what I want to carry in my pocket. And from what I see people say on forums about variations of this knife, it's nothing terribly fancy. Don't expect, uh, you know, uh, flashing lights and, and unique graphics and things like that but it's what I want to carry in my pocket every day. And it's a little bit different about what, what some people say uh, or what they like, but um, it's not for you, it's for me. Uh, and uh, But because I did this one little different change, it added three months to production time because I ordered it in February, my birthday's in August, and I thought, oh, you know, it just might work out that my birthday, uh, it, it ends up being manufactured right around my birthday. And my birthday came and went and, uh, I ended up calling in September and said, hey, I'm um, just curious, you know, how are things going? I know you're really busy with the 31s and the tw all the last minute 21 back orders. And I said, oh, well, yeah, you do. But you asked for something a little bit special. So it's going to take till at least November. So they said, you know, if you don't hear by end of November, call again. And like I said, last week I got the call. All right. So enough of me gabbing here. I I'm excited to see this because I, I mean, like I told you, I don't have a store where I can try these in my town. Um, so I'm, I, I'm really curious to see what this is going to be like. Uh, so, okay, well, y'all know what a box looks like. There's our, our information. Um, so now you can read what it is. I'm going to keep my thumb over what it is, but uh, okay, yeah. Black Canvas Micarta, November 18th, 2019. So, yeah, just made uh, at the beginning of last week, a week ago today. How about that? Um so I'll read all this later. Um, registration card sticker with my initials, which, you know, I always like this about Chris Reeves. It's not why I chose Chris Reeve, but it's always convenient for me that, that they come monogrammed. All right, so let's see here. Uh, all right, just get that out of the way. I'm so excited. All right, so my usual stuff. I'm not going to tell you guys what is in the box, etc., because you know the standard stuff. I'm not here to, to do a tutorial on Chris Reeve knives. I'm here to talk about my collection and what, what it means to me and tell my little story. Um, yeah, so here's the, here it is, wrapped in the cloth. And really, really excited. This is like Christmas in November. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, you can see there's a blue bead on it. Oh, look at that. It's been a while since I've seen the freshly sandblasted. Yeah, so here we are. This is the small Sabenza 21 with micarta inlays with blue hardware. And this is what I was wondering what people were going to think about, um, is the fact that uh, I put blue hardware on it because uh, the inlaid ones come with silver uh, metallic hardware. And I've had, I've seen people online complain about the blue. And of course, the blue wears off. So my thinking was this. Uh, and obviously, I added, you know, a blue lanyard with a blue bead. Um, uh, was was my choice. But uh, this... Uh, is going to be replaced uh, in my final vision of what this knife is going to be. And I'll get to that in a minute. Um, 
but here's the thing is I really like um, the Chris Reeve blue um, and I thought well it's gonna wear and I know it's gonna wear off but I'll get to enjoy it while it's on there and if I really don't like it, I can wear it off deliberately. Um, but I don't think so, because I tend to like this sort of silver metallic with blue color scheme. And I'll show you why. Like, my my ballpoint pen has that color scheme. My fancy fountain pen has that color scheme. My cheap fountain pen has that color scheme. My car has that color scheme. So that's my color scheme, and that's why I chose it. Um, so this is the dream pocket knife and it's just I'm sorry I'm not even opening it yet because I just want to get a good look at the whole thing um, and appreciate it before it gets beaten every day in my pocket with that freshly uh, uh, produced I mean you know my my old one even though it's got polished scales I mean it's been handled enough that there isn't that initial roughness to the to the handles um, that you get out of the box, and so I'm only going to experience that for a little while before this gets starts to get worn smooth. I mean, this uh, Sebenza 25 had a bit of a sparkle to it when it was new, um, but it's been handled enough that it's getting smooth, and um, this has that initial sort of rough feeling that is going to go away very, very quickly. Um, yeah, look at that. Centered blade as far as I can tell. Um, of course, I'll be staring at that all night tonight. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's open that up. Oh, nowhere near as rough as this guy was when it was new. But that was so smooth. And you can see my, yeah, my in single blade. I've never had, I've never seen this blade either. But, um, yeah, perfect. Yeah, and I'll tell you why I picked the small. Um, now, I told you I've ordered the big brother of this. Um, and uh, it's going to be a, uh, yeah, a little bit different. Um, but that'll be for sort of carry out on the hiking trails and things like that. This one is every day in the city, in my pocket, everywhere I go, uh, except for special occasions when this guy, or maybe this guy, get a ride. Um, but uh, uh, that's why I chose this blade shape too. One, I didn't have one, but also um, from everything I've heard, it's very practical for everything you do. It's pointy enough to do a little bit of piercing. Uh, it's good for slicing of uh, you know, kitchen preparation. You can slice through a box with it. Um, so I'm excited. I can't tell you how excited I am. But man, when I opened my Coca Bolo inlay the first time, it was like <laughs> grinding almost. It was so hard. This just opened so smoothly. And yeah, the wow, I'm not going to have to break this in at all. How about that? I'm so impressed. I'm surprised actually. I was a bit looking forward to the break in, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. This is like ready to go. So here it is, my dream everyday carry. And the wait is not over. Yeah, nine months and 10 days uh, till this arrived, but there's still, it's not complete. Um, I was talking via email just last night with Will Jekyll about the backspacer that I'm getting for this. And it'll be a few more weeks till that comes in. And then when that comes in, I'm going to make a lanyard with my regimental colors. Uh, so I got to learn how to make lanyards too. But that's, uh, you know, <laughs> after nine months and 10 days, uh, I, I can wait a couple more weeks to do that little project. Uh, and then I will contemplate... Um, getting uh, the Hawk clip because I do like the clip on my tie lock and it holds really tight in my pocket. When I first opened this, I think there's a, well, there is, I know there is a video of me unboxing this when it first arrived and I first tried this clip and I felt how stiff it was. And I, when I put this in my pocket, it never budges. And from everything, everybody saying that, oh, it catches on your seatbelt and stuff like that. Well, hasn't happened to me. Um, whenever I put this in my pocket, it stays. So I'm going to get a hot clip, but again, they don't make them all the time. And uh, so I have to wait for them to be uh, manufactured. I, I spoke to Alicia at, at Chris Reeve on Thursday about this. Um, and uh, so 
um, I will be considering adding one to this knife. Um, but um, it's going to be a hard choice, and I'll tell you why. Because the 21, small 21 fits my hands so well, okay? Uh, I have pretty large hands. I mean, it's, it's 20 centimeters from my wrist to my fingertip, or 8 inches. And you know, fairly wide hand. And this is why I don't get uh, an Encosi, a small Encosi, because I like the, the thicker blade, like on the, on the 25, uh, and I like the, the um, jimping. Uh, it's much type, uh, tougher, grippier jimping on the Encosis. Um, but that knife, the small, is, is so much shorter. I'm a, I, uh, and without having held one, I don't know how it would fit my hand, but look at this. This fits perfectly in my hand. Like my, my fingertips drop right into the micarta groove if I want them to, you know, if I, if I center it on my, my index finger into the grooves here, you get that second, uh, what do you call this part of your thumb? Uh, phalange, phalange, the middle phalange goes right into this. I mean, Chris Reeve knew what he was doing when he designed these. I mean, this is designed to fit that middle phalange. This fits the uh, distal flange and your um, uh, proximal fl flange on the back fits right into, I should stop using uh, anatomy terms, but basically, yeah, the three, the three sections of your finger fit right into those arcs uh, in the handle uh, and they fit me perfectly. And when I do that, like I said, my fingertips right into the groove between the inlays and then let's look at the back. If you can see here, I don't know if I'm, like I said, hopefully the, the camera's picking this up, but my middle finger fits right into the groove of the clip. My ring finger fits right into the little dent in the clip. I mean, it's like this was a custom job for me. And that's why I chose this knife. Uh, the color scheme, the inlays, um, like I said, I've never tried the blade, but this was the blade I wanted. I've already got, you know, the drop point in my my special Cocobolo inlaid knife. So I wanted, um, yeah, I wanted the Insengo for my everyday. Uh, I'm so excited. I probably just talked your ears off for like half an hour. I don't even know how long this video has taken, but super happy. Um, after such a long wait, and the wait is part of the experience, uh, for sure. Um, have a good look, because this is, uh, this is the last time it's going to look so new and in such, uh, excellent condition. Um, and I, uh, the wait isn't over. Like I said, I'll be waiting for the special, uh, backspacer and, uh, also potentially for a, a clip that I will try. Um, but... Boy, it's an exciting day. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope, uh, <laughs> you know, um, it wasn't boring um, for anyone. Uh, but it certainly won't be for me because this is something I've been looking forward to for so long. Anyway, I will keep you up to date as the final pieces uh, come in uh, over the next month or two. Um, and as the big brother to this arrives, and probably, <laughs> you know, next spring or early summer when my 31 arrives. Um, but today, today, this was my 2019 Sebenza and the one that I, uh, I'm going to be carrying every day starting this afternoon. Uh, as soon as I turn off the camera. Whew, that was fun. All right, have a good one, guys uh, and gals. Cheers.